welcome and uh, for this video what we're going to do uh, this tutorial we are going to create a dynamic tab um, system um, we're gonna create that in react and we are also going to use material UI um, yeah we're gonna use material UI as a framework to create our dynamic tabs um, so far I've got the I've gotten the project started. Um, I have Material UI icon, uh, Material UI. Um, it's got the. Also, I had to download the Emotion Style and uh, Emotion React. Not sure if we're going to use those yet, but um, they were part of the package that we needed to do. So, um, yeah, that's what we did. Uh, so let's move this out of the way. Um, for now, we are going to do a little bit of cleanup. Uh, we're going to delete. Let's do this right now. Should have done. Should have done this off camera. Um, so let's delete the logo. Let's delete report web setup app test. We're going to delete these three. Sorry, four. And then we're going to go to index.js. We're pretty much going to delete all of this and delete this as well. We're going to go into app.js, delete all of this, and removing the logo. And over here, uh, just for now, we're just going to do hello. gonna do hello and I forgot to save this part right here once I do hello and I save and voila here we have we have hello so now that we, we are finished with the cleanup um, what we're going to do now is we are going to create our layout. So uh, let's do create a new file. We're going to call it layout for short. I'm just going to use my um, shortcut React Functional Arrow Component, right? And gonna go to my app.js and we're pretty much going to import layout and as I'm making changes you'll notice that um, things here are updating on the on the left so just to make just to show you that this is displaying properly we're gonna just um, put hello I am layout and here we are right here so now uh, we're gonna go to uh, meui.com um, I'm gonna go tabs select tabs and we're gonna go with the one that we that we want um, I'm gonna go with um, this one experimental API we're pretty much going to um, we're gonna get all of this or actually we can just click here and in the layout we're just gonna and then we're gonna reformat so I pretty much copied and paste in the layout um, let's uh, clean this up here a little bit <clears throat> I don't think we do need let's delete these boxes here I don't like them very much all right, and we're also going to delete this box right here. And 
new format. <clears throat> and we're also removing pretty much any unwanted um, any unwanted stuff, right? Uh, what I'm going to do here is let's change this for selected tab. And then we're going to set change it to set selected tab. And over here, change that here. And then selected tab. All right. So this is what we have so far. Um, now, pretty much what we're going to do is uh, let's see let's see how that looks. Um, we have layout is not exported into layout doc, um, from layout. Uh, let's change this to layout. And why are we getting an error? Oh, that's why we're getting an error. It was trying to deconstruct it. MUI tab dot context. Okay, so there is there was one thing that I forgot to uh, to install. So um, so let's do that right now. Um, we're going to do uh, npm i at mui slash lab. I'm gonna pause the video now. Once the install is done, we'll take it from there. So, um, so far, here's what I have. I have um, pretty much your generic tabs, um, tab context, tab list, with um, three tabs, three panels. So you'll notice we're changing between them. Okay. So this is the first step, right? Just um, establishing the basis, and then in the next video, we're gonna end up with uh, three different versions. We're gonna end up with this one, which is static. Let's call it static. Um, we're gonna call this dynamic, and we're gonna call this um, closables. So pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to the last one. Um, so each of those, uh, the dynamic is going to be a uh, an upgrade of the basic, and the closable is going to be an upgrade of the the dynamic. So um, the difference between dynamic and static is static is pretty much you hard code everything. Um, <laughs> dynamic is pretty much uh, dynamic. You you create them as as you as you need to. So you'll by the click of a button or some type of event and the closable one pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to be adding a um, a close button right next to the label here so when we click on the close button um, not only will the tab be removed but uh, so will the accompanying tab panel as well um, both will be removed from view simultaneously I am debating whether or not uh, once we removed one um, it automatically displays either the home tab or the last uh, tab that was uh, um, that is in the array. I haven't decided yet, uh, but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, it's going to be fairly simple. Um, thank you for watching, and I uh, will see you guys in the next video where we will continue with our project to refactor our code to our purpose. Um, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, so that way when I when a new vehicle uh, <laughs> when when a new uh, video is uh, released, uh, you guys are aware. Um, thank you for uh, sharing your time with me, and I'm glad that you're, you're learning something. Thank you. Uh, see you soon.